Disney Cars Radiator Springs Road Trip. It had been an exciting afternoon in Radiator Springs. Lightning McQueen had just been on TV talking about the big piston cap tiebreaker race. Do you think he can beat Chick Hicks? Sally, the blue sports car, asked. Lightning can beat anybody, shouted Mater, the tow trucker. I sure wish we were there to cheer him on. Well, said Doc, the town judge and the doctor. I've been thinking about that. Maybe we should head on out there. He's still a rookie. He needs us. All of Lightning's friends hit the road, and the road to California was a long one to keep from getting tired in the hot sun. The cars pulled over at a rest, shop, rest stop. Flo looked around and smiled. I love Radiated Springs, but it sure is nice to take a trip from time to time. After resting for a while, the cars went on their way. Mater was leading the line. When he turned around to check on his friends, he didn't see Guido, the forklift. Worried, Mater went to look for him. He found Guido at the end of the line. It was her, and the little forklift had fallen behind. Mater offered to give him a tool. I hope you don't mind looking at where we've been instead of where we are going, Mater said. Finally, the Radiator Springs gang arrived at the Los Angeles International Speedway. It was almost race time. Sage took command. Hello, oil, stand over here. Guido, tires and tools right there. Pit stop, Guido shouted. Ramone was itching to do some painting. Try sneezing up this bit. We need to show off our stalker, Doug suggested. Where is lightning? Mater wondered aloud. Come on, Mate, said Doug. Let's find the kid. There were so many cars around that Doug and the Mate had trouble spotting lightning. There he is, Mate shouted. Over there, Doug turned to look, but lightning was already gone. Determined to find his friend, Mate began a search for his own. Lightning McQueen, Mate shouted. Where are you at, buddy? Mate spotted the ten for rats losses. Last is Lightning's racing sponsor. Maybe Lightning was in there inside. Mate found himself. Surrounded by rusty cars. Hey, you a tow mater, said an old van. Lightning's pal, we've heard about you. How about a free sample mater, said a grinning blue car. I will take some of that rust off your bumper. Rust on me? Where? Mater asked. Alarmed. Just then, Flo rushed in and took Mater away. Come back soon, the rusty cars called. Let's look for some decorations for lightning speed area, Flo suggested to Mater. Forgetting what he was actually looking for, 
Mater excitedly followed the flow to a track that was selling lots of cool stuff. Mater picked out some sneezy antenna bolts. Oh, I like those, Hulo said. Then she added some yellow bands that matched the lightning's team colors. Looks like we're going to have a ball today, Mater joked. Hulo laughed. Good one, Mater, she said. Meanwhile, Doug had gone to the other side of the track to check out the competing crews. As he neared Chick Hicks tent, he heard something bad, very bad. I'm winning this time, no matter what I have to do, Chick told his crew. I'm going to first the king and the smart lucky rookie of the track. The cap is mine, boys. Doug knew he had to warn Lightning that Chick was up to his usual dirty tricks. But where was Lightning? Doug found Mater and told him about Chick's plan. We got the one, Lightning yelled Mater. This area is for press only, said the tough looking SUV guard. Hey, that's Doug Hudson you were talking to, Mater said. The guard stood his guard, his ground. No one gets through, and that's final. Doug June turned away. It looked like he wasn't going to get to lightning in time. Sorry to let you down, kid, he said quietly. Mater didn't like seeing Doug look so sad. What could he do to cheer him up? Here, Doug, this is for you, Mater said, tossing Doug one of the antenna balls. It has lightning's number on there. We're part of his team, he needs us. Doug grinned. You are right, Mater. We came here to help our friend. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Mater spun around and let out a holer. Hooray! Here we come! Lightning, he yelled. Let's get to the pit, Doug said, and tell Ramone I need a special paint job, Mater. This is what friendship is all about. Doc thought. As he drew up to the crew chief platform, the crowd roared as Doug stood there proudly. Ramone finished the painting, the blazing words on Doug's side. Fabulous Henderson Hornet. As lightning made a turn around the track, he saw his radiate springs friends in the pit crew area. They had come all the way to California to cheer him on. Hey kid, keep an eye on Hicks, Doug said over his radiate headset. He's up to no good. But Lightning wasn't worried. He knew that Doug and Mate and all his friends were looking out for him. Newly energized, lightning, revved his motor and took off down the raced tracker. Kachoo!